Hey, what's up? I'm Colby from Sanitarium Productions. Over the last little bit, I've been putting out a lot of the unboxing videos from the G.I. Joe line. So I thought I'd spice things up a little bit by going back to a restoration video. Uh, some of y'all may recognize a few of the parts here in front of us, but um, I've got a lot of just odds and ends pieces for the G.I. Joe Cobra Bug from 1988. Uh, most of these are in various different states of disarray. Uh, some of them have broken parts. Some of them have some chewed up pieces. Some of them just are just kind of rough in general. So what I'm going to do here is uh, go through all these parts that I have and just kind of sort them out, find the good parts. We'll go through, do a real good cleaning job on all of them. And then we're going to uh, basically make one good vehicle. So I think I've got like three of these main holes, a bunch of these uh, submarine pod things here. So I'm just going to pull all my resources together, put them all in a big pile, kind of sort through them, cherry pick the, the good items from the bad items, and uh, just kind of show you the whole process and how we go about doing it. So um, this will probably be split up into about probably three or so different segments here. Um, the first one is going to be just looking at some of the individual parts kind of pointing out some of the flaws on each of the the bad pieces and just some things for y'all to keep an eye out for when you're trying to get parts for yourself to restore your own vehicle so um yeah so just stick around it should be a kind of interesting video for you so we'll get into it in just a few minutes so here's the first uh main piece that we have here this is the the main hole of the uh cobra bug uh, this one is in needs of some serious cleaning, at least. You see all the dust and everything everywhere. Um, a couple things just to point out about it. There's some uh, damage right here on the corner. Uh, it kind of looks like it's just been beat up pretty badly right through there. No big deal on that. I'm not worried too much about that. You can buff that out a little bit if you have some fine sandpaper or something like that. Uh, but the rest of this thing, it's missing a couple of these... Uh, turret attachments it's got one of them but it's kind of uh, broken off a little bit on there so it's not the best in the world and it's missing the other one completely uh, the doors open up on this one pretty easily so it's got that much going for it uh, it's also got the uh, little sled attachment uh, which is missing the missiles off of it but the sled itself is in pretty good shape so the front panel door thing opens pretty well it's got a little snap on it there to theoretically keep it up when it's uh in the open position so it's got that one going uh it's missing the canopy on the back here but the back canopy door opens pretty well uh, it is missing off the sides here the uh vent housings i guess you would call them but the, the tubes themselves are in pretty good shape. Turning around a little bit to take a look inside of this thing. Uh, nothing really wrong with the inside piece other than it's really dirty. Looking at the other side, uh, there is a break in the hole right here on the top piece. So there's not much you can do about that other than try to glue that back together. So yeah, uh, side still missing the uh, vent housings for that thing this one opens up pretty well too so that's in pretty good shape the stickers are a little grimy we can fix that uh, looking at the front though it's got one major flaw for the top half right here is a little tab where the submarine pod would attach that piece is broken off, uh, so that's not good for us. However, if you're just getting one of these back together just for display purposes, that won't hurt anything really badly. Um, but this is going to be the most common problem that we run across with all of the uh, Cobra bug holes. This one tab here is almost always broken on about every one I've seen so far. Uh, looking at it a little bit more, the inside cockpit has one of the uh actually it has both of the uh 
if you can see that real well. It has both of the seat belts attached, so that's good for us. We can always pull those off later. Uh, and flipping it over to take a look on the bottom here. Everything on the bottom is in really good condition. Uh, it's got all the wheels. They all turn pretty well. Uh, the attachment for the turret gun that goes underneath this thing is in good condition. No broken tabs, nothing like that. So that's really good. And other than that, yeah, that's a, that's the condition of this one. It's definitely in need of a lot of cleaning. But we at least have that much going for us. So here we have another one of the holes for the Cobra Bug. Uh, like the other ones, it's in need of some cleaning. But other than that, you know, it's missing all the doors off of it, obviously. It's got a couple of small scratches on it. But the overall integrity of the, the top part is in really good shape. It also has one of the uh, vents off of the little side thingy. Uh, actually, it has two of them, one on each side. But the important part that we're looking for here, since everything else is in good shape here, this front piece has the actual tab still attached to it. As you can see, that's kind of what it looks like. It's got a little notch at the very top of it. Um, that's the thing that I'm needing the most out of this one. So this is a very good candidate for restoration because it is got no broken parts on it. Uh, looking at the bottom, same thing. It's in really good shape. Wheels are in good shape. The uh, turret system is in good shape so this one is a, a prime candidate for recycling and making it as our main base so this is probably the one I'm going to use for that so I'll probably end up taking this thing apart just to get it cleaned real well and just to verify that some of these inside tabs are all in good shape but uh, from the looks of it this one is probably going to be our, our number one contender so uh, it is missing a couple of the pieces off of it. The seat belts aren't attached. A little bit of a scratch on the side. But nothing major. Everything else looks in good shape here. Again, just a good cleaning and this one should be good to go. This is our third candidate. It suffers from the same thing as before. It needs a good cleaning. Uh, but just turning around looking at it. As you can see here in the front, the uh, tab that holds the canopy on is broken, uh, so that's not good for us, but other than that, this one is in good shape. It, uh, it actually also has one of the sleds with one of the missiles on it, so that can be reused. More importantly than that, it also has these uh, gun turrets on the top. And they are both in good condition, so we'll be uh, pulling those off soon to reuse them when we actually start into it. Uh, all the doors open. They're nice and tight. It actually has a second little sled without the missiles on it, but uh, you know, we'll see a bunch of these at some point. Uh, and it also has one of the... Uh, vent cover things for it so that's uh got that going for it the uh front missile or front bay door opens pretty easily nice snap to it when you do that no seat belts like the other one but uh, that's okay flipping it over uh, we see a little bit of scratches on it but uh, everything else looks to be in good shape on the bottom, so that's that's all nice and good. Uh, looking at over here, though, here is the actual gun turret that goes underneath here. So this is the first one we've seen that was attached. You can see it just uh, rotates around like that. And then the guns themselves rotate as much as you want to there. So uh, the turret itself is a little scratched up, and as you can tell, one of the gun cannons is a little bent. Uh, those are kind of flimsy plastic anyways, but they're not broken. Everything's in pretty good shape there, so that's another good prime candidate for uh, getting parts off of. Yeah, so that is uh, the third base unit we have. This one probably won't be used for the main body for our restoration, simply because it does have the broken tab on it. But all the other parts off of it, you can pull off and use them pretty easily. 
Uh, I'll point out this one has the actual yellow sticker. So this one actually, the Cobra Bug came with a couple of different variations of that. You had one that was kind of a clear sticker and one that was a yellow sticker. Uh, some of them got attached, depending on you know, who was playing with it, to the main body and some of them were swapped out with uh, the actual submarine piece. So no big deal there. We're actually going to pull all the stickers off anyways and uh, I've got some nice repro decals for this when we get done. So I don't care about the stickers, but there's something to look for when you're doing this is there are two of these big Cobra symbols, one in yellow and the one that's clear. So, uh, yeah. And here we have one of the uh, submarine pods. I've got a, quite a few of these, so we'll look at a couple of more of these examples here in just a moment. But uh, this one is uh, pretty much complete, so that's uh, a good thing for us. So we can point out kind of all the... The things that you want to be looking for here the main canopy opens and this one looks like it's in pretty good shape i don't see a lot of scuffing and scratching on it uh, it could use a good cleaning like everything else here looking on the inside two seats and there should be two seat belts that attach to this this one only has one seat belt but uh, luckily the seat belts that they use are the same ones that they use pretty much for the entire line uh, especially in the late 80s anyways. Uh, so these are pretty easy to come by. Find one from any vehicle basically and you can put it in its place. Uh, looking at the bottom of it, you're wanting to have one of these turret systems. Uh, it's pretty much the same as what was on the main hull of the main vehicle. Uh, this particular one has one of the gun cannons that's broken off. The other one's intact so uh, we'll need to change that out, but the actual turret itself is in pretty good condition, so nice. Looking at the back of it, it this particular one has these uh, the wing attachments. I don't know what else you'd call them, but uh, they're basically used as a uh, steering mechanism on this thing. And this is one of the parts that is uh, pretty hard to come by. There are are usually the most common thing that's lost or broken off of this set. Uh, but this one is completely intact. It has a couple of attachment points here and it has this uh, steering support strut here that attaches the two so that they turn at the same rate. Uh, then there's also this kind of weird whirly bird looking thing rotor system that attaches uh, this one is in pretty good shape. A couple of the other ones I have are a little scuffed up. Uh, this one has one small scuff on the corner right here, but nothing I can't buff out with a little bit of uh, sandpaper or something like that. So yeah, so overall this is a good condition one. So this would be a prime candidate to reuse in our just overall restoration process. Uh, the stickers on it are scuffed up, so we'll be removing them some stickiness on that but other than that yeah this is in pretty good shape so this is kind of what you're looking for here we have another example of the submarine pod much like the other one it's in pretty good shape uh, as you'll notice here the sticker as we talked about in the main hull someone's attached the clear sticker to it instead of the yellow one uh, but they are swappable, so it doesn't really matter. It's kind of a customization thing, whatever you want there. The canopy on this one is a little sticky, but it does open pretty well. Uh, it's a little scuffed up. It needs a good cleaning. Looking on the inside, it does not have any of the seat belts. But other than that, the cockpit's in pretty good shape. Again, dusty, but in good shape. Looking at the bottom of it, the turret system we have here is actually intact and is not broken at all so all the guns are in place so that's a good sign for us then looking at the back it does not have the little fins on it but it does have the rotor system here uh so yeah so this is a uh, we could probably pull some parts off of this one and clean it up pretty well and it would be a good a good candidate for reusing this restoration process uh, a little bit of scuff mark here on the back of it but yeah, overall it's pretty good shape. So, Here is an example of the little ski boat thing that it comes with this thing. 
This one has the two missiles on the side, and that's pretty much all. It has this flip-up steering column. And the idea would be that you this figure would stand here, grab the handles, and it's kind of like a jet ski kind of thing. So there's not much to these things. These are pretty easy to come by. If you flip it over on the underneath side, there is this uh, backpack peg which would attach to the back of the figures and uh, you could actually have one figure driving this thing and another like frogman underneath here so it's used as a transport vehicle also uh, then if it's on land they could use it as an actual jetpack too if they wanted to uh, which is kinda cool so uh, these things are fairly easy to come by the missiles themselves though are a bit difficult to come by um, when you can find them they tend to be a little pricey but you'll need four of these total so if you had like me you have a bunch of these different things laying around you can probably scrape up enough of the parts uh, most of these things will come with either one or two or none so if you're lucky enough to get some that actually have these attached it's going to make things a lot easier for you but if not you'll have to search out these little small missiles so in this bag i have a couple of the uh air intake pieces that we're looking for uh, and I'm just going to pull out two of them right now so we've got two different ones that you'll need and hopefully you can kind of see the difference here one of them is flat and just has uh, vertical or horizontal depending on how you're looking at it uh, fins on it you'll need two of those in this whole process uh, and they just snap on so there's nothing really to be looking for other than that, to, that, to, that you do need them the other one has more of the uh, turbine looking side of it and again it just kind of just snaps in place so nothing major there but you'll need two of each of these one for each side of the big long boat looking thing so find two of those uh, they're usually not too bad to find um, they're usually not attached to most of the vehicles though uh, you'll often find a vehicle that has one or the other but usually not both types or at least not all of them completely intact you'll have one on one side and one on the other side sometimes but uh, it's hard to find one that has all four of those in place so I had to track these down myself so yeah that's what you're looking for here I have a bag of missiles so let's open them up and take a look at them Uh, I've got a couple of other parts in here too, but uh, what we're worried about are the different missiles that we have. So uh, on the Cobra Bug, there are two different types of missiles you're looking at. You're needing these Trident missiles, and you're needing these, uh, I don't know, torpedo missiles or whatever you want to look at them for. Um, so yeah, a lot of times you'll find these without the tips attached or without the, uh, the end cap attached. Uh, so there's a red piece on each end of this missile specifically, uh, whereas the uh, trident is just one solid piece, nothing special here. So you only need to track down, I think there's uh, two of these big missiles and like six of these little ones. Uh, but we'll get a final count when we're actually doing the restoration process. But uh, you want to track down both types of missiles here. So here is the... Uh, back turret assembly it's a bag of them here actually so uh, let's pull out what you're looking for these things are pretty easy to come by uh, but you may have to actually get them in a separate lot they don't often come attached to the vehicle uh, but this is essentially what you're looking for so it's one glass canopy or plastic canopy uh, this particular one is in pretty bad shape as far as uh, it's kind of cloudy and really dirty looking. Uh, but the front of it has this nice gun system on it uh, and it just attaches with these hinged pieces and they just snap in place like that. Uh, so you'll need at least one of these depending on how many of these you're trying to do but uh, one for the, the main Cobra bug itself. And you'll try to look to make sure that uh, when you move the gun that it's pretty tight and it stays in place wherever you move it uh, you sometimes find these that are a little bit loose so the gun won't point up won't stay in place so 
If you're looking for one, try to find one that uh, holds it tight in place. Just a quick note here on the uh, rear turret canopy. The, the plastic they used with all these things is uh, very susceptible to different kinds of light. So here's an example of one that is completely cloudy. Uh, it is kind of a dark blue smoke color. Whereas this other one is more of a, just a regular smoke color. It's kind of a light green. What you're really looking for is a clear one of these. Uh, completely clear, see-through, not cloudy, not gray like this, not smoky green like this one. But try to find one that is as clear as possible. Um, if not, you just need to try to match up the glass pieces with uh, whatever it is. So if you end up with one like this, try to find the main canopy piece and the uh, main submarine glass canopy that is similar in color so it doesn't look odd but that's going to be one of the big discrepancies you find is that uh, there's a lot of different variations in the coloring on all these so just try to find a couple of pieces that match one another and you'll be fine doesn't really matter which color it is just uh, try to match them all up last we have the front canopy that attaches to the the driver's seat i guess you could say um, and it's a single one piece glass, well it's plastic but it's meant to be glass. <laughs> so uh, that's what you're looking for here. Uh, there's nothing really special about it. This particular one that I'm looking at right now is kind of scuffed up and it's a little cloudy. But as we mentioned with the other ones, uh, there's going to be a lot of variations in what you can find out there. So here are three examples. Two of them that are pretty close to one another and then this other one that's a very dark smoke colored uh, i don't know i think that was maybe a change in how they were uh, manufacturing it but most people are trying to find these clearer looking ones and again the ones that i have here are more of a greenish smoke color uh, I don't really like that one as much as I like the real clear ones. So if you can find a clear one, that's the one you want. Uh, however, if you can't find a clear one, just make sure that you match these up with all the other glass pieces that you have in your project. It just makes an overall nicer presentation if they're all matching. But sometimes you don't have that luxury, so uh, get what you can and use it when you can. It'll be fine. So that's an overview of the 1988 Cobra Bug. Uh, all the parts and pieces that we're going to have to look at and some of the common problems you'll find when doing restoration work for yourself. Uh, in our next segment, what we're going to be doing is actually just taking these things apart, so disassembling them and pulling off the parts that we're going to reuse in the actual build itself, and then we're just going to clean those up. So check out some of our past videos. Subscribe below if you haven't already. Let us know in the comment section if you'd like to see something specific. Uh, and until next time, yo Joe!